ZANU PF BURNS IN PRIMARIES WAR ZANU PF is in turmoil over its forthcoming primary elections, with senior party officials now battling to calm down angry members who are fuming over the conduct of the party's provincial chairpersons who stand accused of favoring their cronies. This comes as the Politburo has postponed all deliberations on petitions and letters of complaints from members alleging corruption and outright fraud by some party bigwigs during the submission of CVs to their provincial leadership. So bad is the situation, the Daily News has been told, that National Political Commissar RTD Lieutenant General Angelbert Ryuj and his department have been swamped by letters of complaints agitating for the reversal of some of the lists of names which have been submitted to Provincial Coordinating Committees PCC. Contacted for comment, ZANU PF Secretary for Information and Publicity, Simon Kaiamoyo, confirmed that the Politburo was aware of the problems, but had parked them until all provinces had completed their processes. The matter indeed arose during the meeting but we decided that the best way to handle them was to let the whole process to get completed. The Politburo will receive a report from the party's electoral commission and that is what we will then deliberate on. We cannot discuss issues before the process is complete, he said. We are handling all issues as the party's leadership, but I can't tell you what we are doing at the moment. I will tell you at the appropriate time, Ryuj chipped in when approached by the Daily News. While a lot of flack had initially been directed at the provincial chairpersons of Mashinaland Central, Mashinaland West and Mashinaland East, who were all accused of bending party rules in the interest of their cronies. Things got quite nasty in Masvingo where Ryuj was apparently given a torrid time by the province's bigwigs. Ryuj was even said to have angrily stormed out of a Masvingo PCC meeting after he allegedly tried to impose two cabinet ministers, Winston Chitondo and Amwan Murwira, on the provincial executive committee. Ryuj was also accused of attempting to force the province to accept the two as the party's unopposed candidates for Buta Central and Buta North National Assembly constituencies, apparently doing so with the support of Masvingo Provincial Affairs Minister Josiah Hung. Insiders also told the Daily News that Ryuj's attempts had faced strong resistance from senior party members, including Love Amor Matuk, Paul Mangwana. Clemence Makwaramba and Provincial Chairperson Azra Chazamira. The well-placed sources said Ryuj had started the ruckus by suggesting that he had allegedly been sent by President Emerson and Gagwa to ask the province to co-opt Chitondo and Merwira into the province's structures. This, the sources said, backfired spectacularly after he was told in no uncertain term that there were no vacancies for the two in the Provincial Executive Committee since every position was occupied. When it was clear that this plan was not going to succeed, Ryuj reportedly then asked the PCC to reserve two legislative seats for them, and that is when all hell broke loose. At that point, Chad Zamira is said to have sprung to his feet and told him bluntly that there was no way the province would sideline some of its members who fought fiercely against former President Robert Mugabe and the defeated Generation 40, G40, faction. The rebuke is said to have been met with thunderous applause from the rest of the PCC members, who wildly endorsed it. It was at that point that an unimpressed Ryuj reportedly accused them of disrespecting him as the political commissar, a retort which was met with even sharper rebukes from the gathered delegates. It is clear that Chad Zamira's speech greatly angered him, Ryuj, so much so that he started pointing fingers at Makwaramba, Chad Zamira, Matuk and Mangwana, accusing them of playing factional politics. He also told the meeting that he was the national political commissar and that as such they ought not dare to undermine his authority, one of the sources said. Matuk is then said to have told Ryuj that he had no authority to threaten them since he was just an appointee who only landed a high position after the ouster of Mugabe. Matuk told Ryuj that he had stood with party members who fought Mugabe within ZANU PF adding that he would not allow him to dictate things to them when they had suffered so much while opposing Mugabe, another source said. 
It was at that juncture that the former army chief is said to have stormed out of the meeting in anger, with Hung's subsequent attempt to calm things down being met with contempt from the floor. Mer Yujja's walkout resulted in the meeting ending prematurely, with Merwira and Chitando unable to get the positions that they had hoped for. Emotions are also said to have boiled over in public when Matuk and Chad Zamira apparently confronted Merwira and Hung at a later church gathering in Bikita. Merwira and Hung arrived almost at the same time and when Matuk and Chad Zamira noticed them, they approached them. They warned Merwira that since he had decided to defy them and stand for the primary poll, he had literally declared war on them and he should thus be prepared for a grueling fight. Matuk said since he was now standing unopposed in Guta Central, he would be setting up camp in Guta North specifically to campaign against him and in favor of Youth League Secretary for Information and Publicity, Yukai Sembane Gavi, who is now a clear favorite to win the seat, yet another senior party member said. At that point, Hung lost his cool and started accusing Matuk of fighting to take over as the province's most senior member. Hung Hwa also suggested that he was of the idea that the party now wanted to have more educated people within its ranks, which is why it needed to allow Merwira and Chitando to stand. But Chad Zamira immediately shot back accusing Merwira and Chitando of being opportunists who were absent when the political heat was on, the source added. Merwira, who had been quiet all along, then said he was only being drawn into the issue unwittingly as it was not his own idea. But Chad Zamira weighed in again saying since he had allowed himself to be shepherded, he should now brace for a war, the source said. But Chad Zamira downplayed the issues yesterday, saying the province was working in peace. Meanwhile, in Mashinal and West Province, Former Deputy Minister of Higher Education Godfrey Gandalba, who is the incumbent legislator for Magunj, and aspiring candidate for Zvimba South Crispin City, warned in separate letters that the party could face a repeat of 2008 when ZANU PF lost spectacularly to the opposition after some disgruntled members sabotaged the part in what came to be known as Baura Mazango. It is trite to note that this decision to disqualify me is meant to fulfill personal interests and settle personal vendettas at the expense of the party. The provincial leadership is disqualifying me to pave way for their cronies. I have done substantial work in the constituency and everyone is alive to this fact. Please note that the preferred candidates will not beat me in an election. National PC if ever I had done wrong as a disciplined cadre I was supposed to be arraigned before the disciplinary committee rather than being subjected to this kind of unfair treatment, Gandawa said in his letter. The former deputy minister, who was previously accused of siding with the vanquished G40 faction but somehow survived the purges that followed the troppling of Robert Mugabe last November, also claimed in his letter that provincial leader Zambi Zambi, who is also the Minister of Justice, had allegedly threatened to have him arrested even if he were to triumph in the pending primary election set for May 5. I was arrested just after CV submission was open during Easter holidays in a bid to stop me from submitting my CV. Now that I have submitted, they removed my CV alleging that I was plotting against the president and that I am G40. When I engaged the chairman personally, he even went further to threaten me with arrest again and indicated that even if I win primary elections I will be arrested on nomination day since there are senior people baying for my blood. Gandalba said. However, Zambi told the Daily News that his executive had only made recommendations to be submitted to the National Elections Directorate headed by Ryuj. There was no favoritism at all. I don't do those things. My job is to just compile a list according to the rules of the party. I just look at the CVs and then refer them to the National Elections Directorate. All the CVs are there, Zambi said.